Back with seven minutes to post, here's Trish. Ah, yes, insight, insight, insight. Joining me now is trainer Monty Gelrod. He has best laid plans set to go postward in this one. And Monty, best laid plans, I believe, is something like five to one on the board now. Eternal Camnation, four to five. What in your eyes may make her the beatable favorite? Uh, I don't know what's going to make it a beatable favor. You know, post position's real, real big here, and I was hoping to draw the rail with best laid plans. You know, I've been here four, four or five times already with Jughead Phillies, and I just can't grab that rail in the, in, the, in the drawer off there for the second heat. Well, let's talk about bringing him here to Delaware and having to race heats. It used to be that I think a lot of trainers put some special consideration into heat racing, but since there isn't a lot of it anymore, what do you do to prepare, if anything? Well, you really don't. You know, these horses, they, they can go two and three heats, the way they're bred and everything like that. You know, there's nothing really special you do. You try to take it a little bit uh, easy on them during the week, hoping that they're going to have to race two heats and you're going to make back the final. But basically, you don't really want to change your routine. Speed is one thing. Stamina is another. What do you think about your filly and stamina? Well, my filly's got a lot of stamina. You know, she hasn't had the greatest of a week uh, last week. I had a scratch her out of Nadia Lobel. She was a little bit sick and couldn't train her really the way I wanted to, and she's been on antibiotics. But, you know, uh, to her credit, it, to, to make it here and the way she did in the first heat was, uh, was a bonus. Well, you know, they say that you got to have attitude. When it comes to attitude, what would you tell us about Best Laid Plans? She's got a great attitude. She loves her work, you know what I mean? She likes being out there and she likes racing, you know what I mean? She can come first up, she can cut a mile. She, she enjoys this part of it. Training has uh, seen the old guard, and now there is a lot of trainers that I would consider new guard. Do you have any particular conditioning theories? No, not really. Like I said, I mean, you know, you just have to take the way they have to race now, like heats and how fast they have to go. You have to be kind of easy on them during the week. You know, it used to be the old time trainers would train a horse tough going into a race, three, three trips, four trips and go a good mile. Right now, you know, if, if a horse races every week, sometimes they don't even need to train. Is three trips non-existent in your stable? Uh, yeah, we don't really train three trips anymore. That's done, gone, out of there. Uh, listen, Monty, as a trainer, do you feel that there's anything you can do that's uh, similar to like maybe a coach inspiring their pupil? Do you think that you're a coach? Can you make that horse feel better about themselves? And well, you try to find a you try to find a routine. You know, some horses like to be turned out. Some horses like to be left alone. Some horses like to be bothered with. You know, your groom really fits the horse. You know, if the horse likes attention during the day, you give it attention. If your horse wants to be left alone, just leave the horse alone. That's an important element that we don't often get to bring up, and that's the groom. What about the caretaker in your stable and the role they play? Well, my caretakers, I mean, I wouldn't trade them off for anybody. I got the best best uh, group of guys uh, training for me and grooming. I mean, they, they show up to work, and they care about the horse, and they like the animal. You know, a lot of people show up for a paycheck. These guys show up to see their horses. How much of it is a team effort? Oh, it's big time team effort. You know, you start out with the owners, you start at, you know, the grooms, you need the horse, you need the driver, you know, you need your blacksmith and you need your vet. You know, it's just a, it's just a definite team effort. Is there a way that you uh, celebrate maybe during the week, certain little uh, maybe victories and things even in the stable? No, not really. You know, uh, everybody, root, you know, everybody roots for everybody in the stable. All right. Well, I know there's going to be some rooting going on then here for best laid plans. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And let's go back over.